President Trump condemned the Barcelona attack and offered U.S. help. Mr. Trump is drawing fire, meanwhile, from some prominent Republicans. Here's Margaret Brennan. There needs to be radical changes take place um, at the White House itself. Harsh criticism from a prominent member of the president's own party, Tennessee Senator Bob Corker. The president has not yet um, has not yet been able to demonstrate the stability uh, nor some of the competence that he needs to demonstrate in order to be successful. And this from another Republican, Tim Scott of South Carolina. What we want to see from our president is clarity and moral authority, and that moral authority is compromised. While the president has avoided cameras for the past two days, he has not been silent. Today on Twitter, he swiftly condemned the Barcelona attack and suggested his followers, quote, study what General Pershing of the United States did to terrorists when caught. A reference to a debunked urban legend Mr. Trump told during the campaign about American General John Pershing's alleged slaughter of Muslim soldiers in the Philippines. And what they did is they cut open two pigs and they dumped the bullets into the pigs and they took the bullets and they stood the 50 men up and they shot each man. The president's quick response to the Barcelona attack was a sharp contrast to the days it took him to condemn a white supremacist who drove his car into a crowd of protesters, killing one and injuring 19 others. Today, the president also bemoaned the removal of what he called beautiful Confederate statues and said American history is being ripped apart. In a statement, Republican Senator Lindsey Graham urged the president to stop. You are now receiving praise from some of the most racist and hate-filled individuals and groups in our country, he said. Please fix this. But inciting racial tension can be politically useful, according to the president's chief strategist, Steve Bannon, who just days ago appeared on the verge of being fired. In a series of interviews, he dismissed the far right as clowns, but said, quote, if the left is focused on race and identity, we can crush the Democrats. The president also lashed out at Republican Senator Jeff Flake of Arizona and endorsed one of his primary challengers. Anthony, next week, the president will hold his own rally out in Phoenix. Margaret Brennan with the president in New Jersey. Thanks.